wash them here now, trying to get the drain done. The sewer drain, or sorry, shower drain. So what was there before was a half inch, now we got a three quarter. So I had to do some modifying and uh, some rigging up. That's a three quarter inch uh, mounting plate. I had to cut it. I, of course, I had to cut the hole in the floor a little bigger. See, I got the screws there now, so I'm ready to screw it down. Uh, I got some 51, I don't know, 5200 here. That's what I'm going to use. fiberglass a bunch too. There we go. off the excess and then um, then I'm going to fiberglass those holes in the back just gonna leave that just like that yeah that should dry nice there yeah. okay so that's good for that got the uh, drain through through hall put in the valve, so that's going to be the sewer, not sewer, sorry, sink drain right there. Uh, so, ready to put the sink in. Ready for the taps, but uh, just need some connection, some flexible lines for the connection. Um, that's uh, this bolt head, something bolted on or screwed on to the deck outside at one point. We don't know what it is. Don't, I don't, I'm not sure what it was. Anyways, they took it off, filled the holes, and uh, of course to put the holes there, they had to put holes underneath here. So then they made this, this panel was made to uh, cover up the holes and it was leaking a bit. So I, I fixed that. So I'm ready now to put this back up. Okay, well, we got everything up there. Up front, pretty close to done. Um, bit of caulking in some places, and then the paint job. I'm gonna wait till last to do the paint job because I'm gonna be making dust and stuff. So anyway, uh, shelves are back in. All the all the uh, covers are on. So today I put on this cover. Put in these shelf. This shelf covers here. Same on this side. So it's a lot of work. Do some fixing here. Um, put in a drain, get all fiberglass in. This is going to get a paint job too. So now, now I'm working on this. So the old ice box, we're getting rid of that because we're putting in coolers with, with compressors for freezers and stuff because we're going to be living on board. So, so I just took a sink here. And there's the old sink. And it wasn't very good shape. They had screws put down to the top. You can see where the sink was cut out and filled back in, looks like, with something pretty pretty ugly looking. So we get a new sink here. Taps and everything. So uh countertop's coming off. I don't know, I'll probably make a new one I guess. I'm not sure. Anyways, countertop's coming off, we're gonna replace that, so that's what I'm doing now. Well, taking this stuff off, this one, you know, for 1967, um, I'm surprised I wasn't this stuff is on still. Look at that. There's a little bit come apart, a little bit down here came apart. On glue was coming off, but so uh, there's what the countertop looks like. I gotta duplicate that uh, size-wise, and I'll see. So 
see what I got for wood here. So, uh, I'll try to get this top off, maybe, and get this box out. Here now. Hey, heavy into summer here. Um, it's uh, July, middle of July, so we're right in the midst of summer. So, um, doing some, got some material sod for the countertop for the boat. So here, it's all a lot of tree from the property here that I cut down, and it's maple. So I'm gonna saw that in strips. I'm gonna have like a butcher block. There's some more over here. I have a butcher block uh, countertop. So I might start that in a couple days here. I think it's dry, fairly dry here now. Dry enough, anyways. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, so an update here. Um, I have been filming a lot because it's been hectic, limited time, and yeah, no excuse I guess, but I've just been busy trying to get stuff done. So, um, got things pretty situated up here, um, just a few finishing touches, just to recap that, I got a cover for that, for that hole, a uh, wooden cover. That I made instead of the curtain, such the chain, I guess chain locker for the anchor. And washroom, a head, um, showing you that before. Just got to put the sink in and taps, and that's pretty much done. I'm building the toilet, build the toilet now for it. We have a composting toilet. So here, um, I'll show some pictures of what was there as ice box. So countertop ice box was here. Took all that out. That was a big job. Lots of styrofoam and it's a mess. And um, so then I wanted this <coughs> electric electric cooler. I chose this one by Bouge RV. I do have another one uh, by Vivor that uh, it's in the house right now. It's uh, smaller. So this one here we use as a freezer. And I got it on this system here. Got it on this so it slides out. Um, so you can get at it, and then this will be our uh, this will be our freezer. So it's 53 cubic feet, or no, 53 quarts, or something like there. Anyway, it looks to be pretty good. Um, so that's what we're going to have for freezer stuff. That should be enough capacity. And uh, yeah, so it just slides in out. We do have some. Oh, we do have some room in the back here. 
build something in here. I can do some storage in here. <clears throat> of course, this is where the sink's going. This is cupboard's already been there. Got some trim taken off here now. This countertop's gonna go all the way across here into here. It's gonna be all countertop. And up here, I've been doing some work windows. So I took out the windows and I'm putting in these. They're just cheapos, but they're cheap enough that you can just replace them easily uh, if they give you trouble. Um, they were less than 100 bucks each, whatever. So it's not much available for windows or portholes, I guess. So I go with those. So uh, the one that was here, I actually had to make it a little bigger to accommodate that one. So it's a little bit bigger window. And it had a bigger window originally in the boat and some of the wood was all rotten here. I'll show some pictures. The wood was all rotten, so I had to fill all this in with fiberglass. And then I put a new, new window in there so an extra window so bang bang three windows on each side so i just got that completed and uh got some paint on it so you can still see through the paint a little bit but uh you know it's just gonna everything's gonna be getting another coat of paint for sure so so that's what's going on there <clears throat> i'm gonna leave these in here just clean them up and uh, it's, that was a big messy job. There's a layer of dust over everything now. So um, yeah, so that was that was a big job. This these windows, lots of fiberglass, just just filling in, just fill, just filling in the uh, the old wood that was there, plywood that was all rotten. So <clears throat> anyhow, it's so now getting back to the. So I, I'm basically doing this in three sections. V burst and water and head, galley and uh, settee area uh, for major stuff. Major everything major out here is done. There's nothing really going to change much here other than paint. So now I'm working in the back. So I'm going to make room for um, make room for heaters. I have a diesel heater, a cheap uh, Chinese diesel heater. I got one over there. So I'm going to lay in there so there's gonna be two of these two five kilowatt so I'm gonna put one on either side and then back here I'm gonna have a spot for propane tank and generator and that's major so I took out the fuel tank this is rotten so I had to take that out I gotta replace that now this morning here uh, this piece here was where the fuel tank sat and sat underneath here cross on the back of the engine so I got that taken out I don't like the engine or fuel fill right here in the floor because you can get water in there so I'm gonna pipe that over to here somewhere probably or this side I'm not sure yet so that's where the fuel is gonna be so let's see if I can In here. Yeah. Okay. So a fuel tank went across there. That piece of plywood sat across there, and uh, the fuel tank sat on top right here. So I'll put it back there. No problem. This is all. This is all rotten here. So I'm gonna get rid of this now this morning. So you see it's a bit rotten there. So I'll show pictures after I'm done here of that yeah so so that's what's going on so we'll time to get at it yeah it's like 28 degrees outside and then of course we get this plastic so it's like a sauna so I'm pretty sweaty, so it's time to give it up for the day. Anyhow, stay tuned for some more boat projects. Well, just cleaning up a little bit, got a little bit more done. Um, get ready, got to go to work tomorrow for the next three weeks, so uh, just kind of putting things away. Seems like everything uh, out everywhere. So I'll just show you some of the progress made. So in here, the engine compartment. In the back, I just finished painting all back there. All in here. Um, there's the control panel. 
Get that taken out, frame's all rot, and you'll make a new one. So, uh, there's a steering mechanism under there. All that's painted, cleaned up over there as well. So I just showed you underneath there, and underneath there, and now I'm, there's a spot there for a generator. Anyhow, it's really humid day here, really sweating, so it's time to uh, <sighs> time to clean up a bit. It's gonna be left for. Three weeks and then we're going on a little vacation. <laughs>